Hey there, Queer Wolf fans. You voted, so here is my Eldritch Horror tie tying video. Well, first of all, you're going to need two ties, and I highly recommend that you pick thin fabric ties, and also ties that aren't terribly wide because this, this knot's going to get big. To start off, you're going to pinch the tie like so and hold it right here, hold them right here at the base of your neck. Next, you're going to take the other two ties and cross them over. Now hold here at your pinch and get this tie out of the way. While you take the other tie, the bottom tie, and you wrap it all the way around back to where it was. Now next, you're going to take the other tie here and you're going to, underneath this purple one, you're going to wrap it down, up, and around, and kind of toss it over to the side. Now next, you're going to take the purple one and also wrap it down. Remember, this is the bottom tie, in case yours isn't purple. And you're going to toss that purple, or bottom tie, over to the side. Now you're going to take this one and come down and around, like so, and go up and bring it back over to the side. Now you have each tie on the other side, like so. Now is the time to clean up your knot so far. So you're going to tighten it up. You should have a nice, interesting triangular shape here. You want to make sure that it's, your green lines are not covering up your purple lines. And you also want to make sure that your purple tie is nice and tight at this point. Like you really want to have that bottom tie be nice and tight so that the rest of the tie can hold on to it so to speak. Now you're ready to begin the actual eldritch part. So you're going to take this fellow and tuck it up and around like so. And then I'm doing this wrong. Excuse me. You're going to take this one, the purple one. And you're going to take it over here and go down and around like so. You've got a loop and you're going to tuck it like so. So that now you have purple or bottom tie, top tie, bottom tie. Now put it over here to get it out of the way for a second while you check all your lines and make sure you can see everything. Then you're going to take that other one that's just hanging out waiting and you're going to do the same thing. Make a loop by tucking up underneath and you're going to put it through like so. Now you've got another set of striped lines. So you can tuck it correctly. like so and that looks pretty nice right well queer fans you're not quite out of the out of the bushes yet you're now done with this top tie and you can tuck it back here get it out of the way for real but this one has to do one more loop so hopefully you picked a nice long thin tie for this part because this one is to go up and around one more time. Usually you are basically running out of necktie at this point. That's normal. Don't fret. But if you haven't made the body of the tie short enough, you might have a funny looking shape right now. So just tuck and tuck and tuck, basically. Now you're going to check your lines. Make sure everything looks nice and smooth. You should be able to tighten this to get it a little longer at this point. But you want to make sure everything is tucked 
you want to make sure you were wearing a big collared shirt because if you weren't, this tie knot is literally a horror. I do recommend leaving the top button unbuttoned behind this knot just because otherwise you're going to feel, again, like something is clutching at your throat. And there you have a beautiful and horrific knot.